they posted an event for us to make paper plate dream catchers and pilgrim hats for the kids and crab things. So this, guys, this is just going to be simple things. If you want to make them more unique, you can add a lot more. I um, think we're going to start off with, I don't know. How about we'll start off with Bethany saying hello because she's just sitting here. Hi. <laughs> so I don't talk much on our end. It's how. Now you all know that um, I've also promised to show you my regalia. So I have some of it on. And as we go on, and once we're almost finished, I will stand up and show you the whole dress. So, guys, right now we are. We got two viewers so far. Oh, actually, I'm going to go this way. <laughs> we're gonna go kind of like this these are what we're making um you guys we will you'll need of course paper plates you guys will need any kind of beads um of course any kind of string beth has a whole bunch of string over there kind of oh we got my favorite color so purple. Any, any kind of string that you might have oh, we got up three viewers <laughs> course you have scissors uh that's something keeps popping up guys just technical difficulties <laughs> we'll work Nora. with us here <laughs> i don't know what that no. means i'm not a computer genius can you hand me those pilgrim hats over there beth please no <laughs> now guys i posted a picture of gunner wearing these i'm sure you all have made these in kindergarten before um just basically paper Markers, crayons, pencils. Oh, look, you're having sticks. difficulties over here, too. <laughs> uh, so, um, guys, I am trying to see the comments. Um, we got one. We got one. Let's see. See if I can get it over here. How do I, yeah, work, here? How do I work a computer? Trying to see about the comments. Hiding um, in the fro fog of the chat. <laughs> Hello, Haley. Hello, Carol. Um, guys, I don't know which one I want to begin with, but I think maybe the simplest would be to get, begin with maybe, let's just begin with paper plates. Want to begin with those stuff? Yeah, why not? Let's begin with these. I have no so, life. You're also going to need, you know, use the scissors to kind of, you know, poke your holes or whatever. Or We didn't have a hole punch. That might be easier to use. <laughs> yeah. Um, pull out those pipe cleaners. I'm having technical difficulties. Gang, you can also use pipe cleaners as I did for this um, sample one. Preferably the shiny ones. It, that might make it more fun for the kids. And it will also hold your beads, and, uh, beads or feathers on easier. I'm taking the purple one. For them. I'm making a purple one. Now, I will teach my crab kids something when you're making these. Do we need four or three? I would do four. Four? When you're making these dream catchers, you can make them as unique as you want or as simple as you want. But you kids, these will work. They will work if you put the effort into them and you hang them above your bed or in your east window. Love what you are wearing today. Hi, ladies. Ah, thank you. Um... The, as I was saying, they will help. They, they will work if you put them in your east window or if above your bed where your head is. Um, kids, remember our Lakota, our Lakota dream catchers. Well, it's mostly for any tribe. The dream catchers are to catch all your bad dreams and trickle down the feathers or trickle down your your stems off these. These that would be these bottoms. To trickle off these. That's where your the sunlight hits your webbing. Takes away all your bad dreams and it trickles down these and basically throws them back to creator. Guys, I know I'm going a little fast. You know me, I tend to ramble on. <laughs> but basically that's it, kids. If you put the effort into them and you love what you've made and you hang them above your bed or you're in your east window, they will work for you. They will help you with your dreams. They will take away all the bad energy. What if somebody doesn't have an east window? If you don't have an east window, then that's where you place it above your bed or on your on the head of your bed. Basically, right where your pillow would be. Or next to on the nightstand could even work, as long as it's near your head. 
And as long as the sun can hit it mo most of the time, that's what our tradition is. But let's get to work. <laughs> yeah. That'd be chit chatting all the time. Um, I found the best way to do your paper plates is fold them, which we don't like that crease, but then again, you never know. And it's normally cutting out the middle. <laughs> Now, kids, if you are older and your parents allow you to use the scissors, you can use them. Um, if you're a little little one, I suggest that parents help, please help your kids cut out cut out the middle. But mom, you have scissors over there. Oh, I, oh I do enough. have scissors. You're old enough, so we're gonna work on. Oh, you just follow this little line. Follow the line in the center of the plate. Depending on the paper plate they're do. using. Yes, depending on the paper plates. Please don't use the styrofoam paper plates unless you can get them to work. <laughs> get, get, usually... get the good ones. Yeah, get the good ones and they might work a little bit better. Um, so, once you've done that, you basically have a frame. Did I do it right? Yeah, you did it right. That's crooked. <sighs> it's okay. Um, guys, now you will take your hole punch or scissors or whatever and let your adults do this, kids, if you can't, if you're too young or you can't do it. Right in this little inner circle, you will do possibly, I want to say 12 holes, depending on how thick your string is. Now, if your string is thin, you might want to make your holes just a little bit little and little enough that you can get in. You may use needle if you have to. That thing popped up again, Beth. It's in my way. Tell it to go away. You might need need to use a needle to thread your string in between here to, to make them look like our sample one. Or if you have thicker string or even the pipe cleaners. The kids can also use, you know, when they do their holes, which I'll be doing here shortly, can make their webbing with pipe cleaners to kind of make them make them shiny make them the way they feel or they want them so let's get started with holes Beth? holes holes how do we put um holes? you are how old and you don't know <laughs> okay guys i know that was a great question though because with kids watching so Again, i'm just gonna play just dumb gonna, today you're gonna well Beth's camera is kind of like there basically poke your hole like such. Does it matter where? No, you want it to be away from... Oh, I get from... it! Yeah. I get it. You want them to be away from... How far apart? Like, probably about... A finger... Every diamond? Yeah, like an every finger or two in between. And you want them to be apart or away from this center here because you don't want it to rip, basically. So, basically, um, we will... Con I wish we had speed where we could just speed these up, but oh, you mean like a time lapse? Yeah, like a time lapse thing. That would be you're nice. alive, so you can't. I know. I'm oh, alive. look, we got more hearts from Haley. Thank you, Haley, for the hearts. Um, I actually think I'm getting mine a little too close, but that's okay. The mine's just gonna be I'm doing mine simple, like a, I guess, anyway. Two and mine like a half inch apart. I I would say I I'm not good at measuring. Yeah, so, um, do the best you can, guys, with these. Uh, I think for, you know, most of the adults, they would want probably want to use the string and get your webbing to be really, really nice. I but, think a hole punch would be easier, so. Just yeah, saying. hole punch, um, leather punch. Same would difference. Would be great. Now, mind you, I'm not, like, a... I even I, I only have very little craft mesh too to do what we're doing today because I ran out of everything. And Walmart well, didn't have any. <laughs> yeah, I sent Beth on a trip, so if that forty five minutes away to my nearest Walmart and they didn't have any. So um <laughs> Thank you, Haley. <laughs> <laughs> Hearts for all. <laughs> um Carol, we are hoping you are still here with us. Uh hopefully somebody else gives us a comment and lets us know anybody else that might be listening or sitting with us um now guys i was gonna tell you that I, well i did i think i did tell you on a post that um my indian name is shamani shada 
which means wolf eyes. I was given that name by my native father because he said my eyes were bright as a wolf. And I'm not at that part yet. Wait a minute. <laughs> he's going. He could see me at night, basically. And I carry that spirit. I'm slow. <laughs> That's he's slow. Now, I'm guys... here trying to keep up with Haley's hearts. <laughs> Carl is a shy woman. So we have, um, and we have, this is not the prop, this is not the proper jute string. This is just for today's okay. craft. I'm finally caught up, people. If you are using jute string, please make sure it is 100% jute. Or if you could use another string that we know that is on the crab safe, crab safe list on Crab Central Station. Or not Crab Central Station. Why did I say Darcy's name? Probably well, Darcy's thinking watching. about me, probably. Uh, <laughs> but anything that's on CSJ safe list, you can use. Carl says, my son's Indian name means Little Warrior. Gunner is actually Little Eagle River because he flowed into our lives. And that's why we named him Little Eagle River. Oh, wait, we're on the string part. Oh, can I? I can love I that string? name, Carol. That's awesome. Very awesome. Where's my start of my string? Um, yeah, we are. I guess we're going to start on string. As hopefully, everybody is with us. Basically, guys, you're gonna. Well, let's start through the front because that's teasing me. Um, anyway, we're gonna just put it in the front now, guys. You can, if you have thick enough string, oh, you, oh you're putting it through the front, through the front. It doesn't matter what hole, no, it don't matter. Pick a hole and start with. Gunner Roy, please stop. That's Gunner, guys, if you hear any noise. it's it, He's just on a rampage today. So we're going to place this. So you just let a little bit out that you can tie a knot. Or, well, I don't know if you can see that. You can tie a knot in that piece of string, or you can just tape it down. I'm going to I'm gonna quickly tape mine down, just, you know, I'm sure that's can. You got tapes? Um, There's scotch tape over there. So if you guys have a scotch tape nearby... Grab scotch tape. How much should I let out? Just, just let a little bit out so that you know that that string is not going to go anywhere. You can tape it down good. Like this? Or you can tie a knot good. Is that enough? Yeah. Fold it over. Fold it over. Well, you have to make it look pretty. Why not make it tape. look pretty? Okay. And I am just going to... Oh, that thing popped up again. Oh, it's going to ruin my whole video. No, uh, cause they can't see it anyway, mother. Well, for me, it's ruining it. Then we're gonna put that just right here. Take what? Haley wants to know what an Indian name means. What does an Indian name mean? It is a spiritual name given to you from your grandfather or father from your tribe, or maybe even an uncle or aunt. Depends on who you're around or who you basically who you grow up with. Um, or your traditions of yeah, your tribe. Traditions of tribe. It, Am I doing this right? Your spirit, your spiritual name means how you, basically how you carry yourself, what you do throughout your life, um, your journey. Gunner Roy, will you please? Sorry guys, I don't mean to yell at Gunner on here. We have um, a doggy. See? Sounds like we have a dog. Yeah, Gunner's being a dog today. Um... Guys, I'm cutting my string. Gunner, come over here and say hi to Carol and Haley and whoever else might be watching us. Come hi. here. They He's a messy, you. messy kid today. He's back here so we can get him over here. <laughs> say hi to Carol. Look. Hi. I, nope. Pay attention. Say hi. Hi. <laughs> ha ha, he's, she said. Carol says ha ha. So anyway, as I was <laughs> saying, it's a spirit. No, we're not going to do this now. My computer froze. <laughs> My computer froze. Get down, get down buddy, for a minute. Computer froze. She said hi, Gunner. Okay. okay. Stand right here. We're buddy. back. Sorry about that. It froze for a minute. So thank gosh I didn't start it. No, you're not gonna do that. You're not gonna do that. Wait, yeah, I, 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 I would have nine. Gunner do these, but he's in a rampage right now. So what you're gonna do is you take your string after you have it done, and you're gonna go to the next basically the next hole so i would go straight down 
You're going to go straight down like this. Okay. And you're going to put it through, you're going to basically put it through that, through the front again. Ooh, I got a string in my crab off you. <laughs> you're going to continue to just keep threading your string, make your netting inside. Does it matter which direction you go? Um, it doesn't, but if you're traditionally making them, they it does. And Haley, yeah, we do have our hands full. Haley, I'm sorry, honey, I didn't quite get back to that name thing, but it's a, basically it's a spiritual of how you are in your life and uh, how you're acting. And it's kind of like a smurf in your personality. Yeah. What they choose, what they see your gift as, basically, and that's how they name oh, I you. messed up. Gunner, please. I think. No, please. You're you're getting in the way Wait. a little bit, honey. If you want to know. How, how does that happen? Tablet for? The tablet's there in case I need to see comments. Is it? Um, did I do something? You went the wrong way through your hole. I didn't go the wrong yes, way. Yes, you did. No, I didn't. Guys, you just keep. Okay, so what do I do? Pulling through. So, you'll have it basically like this. Okay, go yeah, through the front. Right? Okay. Yeah. Okay. And then I um, go, which way, which way do I go now? Left, right? Whatever way. It's basically you're making the web inside just like a spider would make a web. <clears throat> now, like I said, traditionally there is different, there is ways to make these and these are not, you know, traditionally we will sit and work on them, make them out of branch, make them out of grass, sweet grass. Um, there's a lot of other, a lot of other ways to make them too that I'm sure I how have not I, learned yet or don't know yet. How are you getting it so it's not folding over your? You just gotta pay attention to where your holes are, silly. Right, and how are you? Or do you go back through? Like, okay. Are you looking at me back here? Gunner, are you saying hello to everybody? Yeah. Yeah. I don't know what Hi. I'm doing. So. Guys, I'm having a little bit of trouble here getting mine threaded. I'm having a bunch of trouble. Uh, okay. Basically, guys, if you're just gonna keep crisscrossing every every hole, every other hole. Um, Gunner, please now get down and no. So what you're doing is you're coming back in into the hole here, and then you're going like this. Yeah, you're just gonna criss keep going in and out of holes. Okay. Sometimes you have to lick your string ends. Or, like I said, you could be using a needle, which is faster, easier, quicker. Yeah, and you can pump punch holes. But I'm, as a, I'm actually sitting here enjoying, even though Gunner's a little rampage tonight. Gunner Roy! I'm enjoying this. I'm hoping you all can hear me. They don't want to hear Oh, I don't think Gunner wants them to hear us. Gunner Roy! We're not fake. What? I'm hoping I, uh, you're all still willing to sit with me for as ever, forever long as takes. We can put the baby up. He'll still climb over it. Oh, it's Lord. Dumpy. Guys, anyway, I just got a knot in mine. <laughs> um. But... I, um, no, go ahead. It's okay. Let's let's show them yours because I'm gonna I'm gonna put mine down for right now because Beth has gotten hers pretty much a star somehow a star where I needed it. So, guys, this is oh, that thing off there again. No. It is okay, guys. If you if it starts to become a star, so you're just gonna keep going with it. Um, you don't have to follow the same pattern line, but just keep going in and out of your holes. So, Beth will continue to work on this. I, I managed to get a knot in mine. Um, yeah, I'm going to continue to work because I am a hard worker. And speaking of <laughs> um, jobs. These are hard. <laughs> like, I just got a knot in mine. But I think what I'll do with, if I use it for Gunner, I will let that knot there because I can hang a charm off that little knot since that ended up with a loop in it. So... I guess that's just how it's meant to be. Now, in our native tradition, if you're doing something 
like like working on something like this or whatever and it goes wrong and it's still usable it's just meant to be that way that's the way it turned out it's kind of like when you're born if you have a gift that's the way you're meant to be um like a crab will like when the crabs they take their shell and they modify their shell that's just them that makes them unique that makes them at their shell so it's basically kind of the same thing whatever you're making it goes right along with being just as unique as anything in this, anything Gunner, please go in the room. You're making so, too much noise. So I have a question for Carol. Are you making one too, or are you just gonna, or are you just watching right now? I'm waiting to see who who's actually see if anybody else is making them or. Yeah, I don't. I haven't seen any other comments of anybody making them or. Just hanging out with us. Maybe go watch it later, hopefully. Where's uh, G uh, Jeannie? Uh, Jeannie, I believe, is either out in the woods or at work. I can't remember what she said. Hmm. Oh. And I know I Carol does a lot on, on group, taking care of the other group. Other group? A uh, Jeannie's group. Does. Crabby Herman. Ooh. Crabs. Yes. Crabs. Crabs became my life. I mean, well, not as much as Stacy has them, but <laughs> or Darcy or anybody, but crabs are basically they are my life basically. They're her babies. You just learned about this. You weren't prepared, huh? I'm sorry, hon. I will next time we do a live, I will make sure I get to you ahead of time and let you know. I'll PM you or something. Um. That way you can be ready and, or you could just maybe later, maybe later you can do one, one of the ones that are for the crab tank and show us what, what ones you can come up with. Cause my simple one I made for the crab tank, it's basically just simple for the kids. It's not, it wasn't nothing fancy. Mine's going to be fancy. I like pink. Well, uh, Carol, I don't know if you've um, heard of that, uh, oh, what is it? It's called St. Saint, Saint Joseph's School, uh, Lakota School. School. Their dream catchers, um, if you do get them in the mail for free, they are real. And they are handmade by the children. So, if you happen to get, a, get one in the mail, I mean, most people just throw them away. But since you know that they are real, you... And keep it if you want to, and then maybe you will be able to have some extra hanging in the house or whatever. But they basically, this was just a fun thing I thought for Thanksgiving, whatever you know. I'm trying to pull my. I wasn't. Strength. I didn't want to offend anybody by doing Thanks. some of the native stuff, so I figured I would throw in whatever else I could think of. But I'm sure there's plenty of other stuff. So if I'm offending anybody, please, I do not mean any harm. Um, Haley, you have two? Wow. Do you have them in your east window, Haley? Or above your bed? Okay, guys. So, mine is actually like this. And has a, you know, it came out with that little spot. Now, what I did was I just cut my string off when I was finished. And I taped it to the back. Because mine is just going to be hanging, basically near the window area I'm not, so it's at not that step yet hold your horse a bunch of pool pooling on it or you know if you believe yours is going to be where it's pulled on all the time you want to make sure there's not um okay i think i should have add, added an extra hole in the yes all the grandchildren even on our, our on our lakota side all the grandchildren were given either well the boys were given um now what do i do the boys were usually given their their buffalo hide. Um, the girls too. I'm done. Now you can cut your string and tape it to the back. Now I want you to take a look at Beth. Take a look at Beth. Let me tape it first. Hold your horse. But yes, on our end, we were given we were given the buffalo hide, or we were given Dreamcatcher, or we were given um, medicine bag. Now my sister actually, my sister Dove, she actually made me my dress and my medicine bag because. 
I had a funeral to do for my brother-in-law, and I did his funeral. So this was this was worn for that. Um, I do have another regalia. That's my wedding dress. Um, I don't know how that happened. With that. I got a line here, but no line up yes, here. Yes, but you did a beautiful job. This is basically, you want to kind of get them to turn out something like this. So that basically looks more, more like a web. Now they can be just simple like mine, you know. Crazy, crazy, easy, simple. I went through all the holes. <laughs> I didn't know we had to, didn't, we didn't have to use all the holes. Yeah, well, you can go through all, I went through all my holes, but. No, you didn't. Like you missed day. a hole. Oh, I guess, I guess I missed one, guys. See, that's, mine's not going well tonight. <laughs> my day wasn't going very okay, well. Okay, guys, so once you we get are. to this step. Thank you, Kara. I greatly appreciate it. Now, it, if you have the, let me get back to this really quick on the outside here. Well, you know, before you do your string or anything, you kids, if you have plain paper plates, you may take your own designs, stickers, uh, stampers, coloring, whatever you can draw on the outside here and make it your own. Now, we just went and got these simple. Oh, we're getting more hearts. These simple collect. Thank you, Haley. <laughs> Uh, ha ha, you missed the hole. Yeah, I did miss the hole. <laughs> but anyway, you can color them, kids, if you want to. Now, on these, on the bottom part here, you're going to make four holes. Usually, traditionally, I believe it's six or eight on the bottom. I would have to look it up again, uh, again guys. I'm, I am good with my heritage, but I'm not good with my heritage. So, there, I, I learn every day new things. So... But let's do these four holes. Do four holes at the bottom. Yeah, I have tape on the top. Is that okay? Yes, that's okay. Okay, so I'm gonna have to go turn it around. You're gonna have to do four holes at the bottom. What right here? The thingy here? Yep. So you're gonna space them apart. If I don't pinch my fingers. If I don't stab myself. This is where I was just at. Almost right through my finger. Almost. We don't want an accident One. right now. Carol, promise me you'll call 911 if I have an accident. You can't. I am 911. Oh, that's right. <laughs> Never mind. I got I one right here. It's okay. <laughs> no, literally, I am nine one one. Yeah, she's firefighter and training for. Is it mm -hmm. training or is it testing for EMT? Uh, we haven't even started the okay, class so yet. We, we don't be, even know. She will be trying to do that. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> I'm having a blast. You two are hitting funny. Hey, I, I try to be funny. I'm having a blast sitting here. Sometimes I don't even have to try and I'm funny. <laughs> That's awesome. On the bottom here, you have the four holes. And this is already pretty Are nice. you going to use your pipe cleaners or are you going to use regular string? Now, guys, we're just, yeah, pipe I think we're just going to use pipe cleaners because it's easier tonight. <sighs> Yeah, she said that's cool to do study hard. Oh, I try to study, but can't read. Yeah, guys, if you have your string or you have feathers that, you know, use your feathers and that stuff that you want to stick on. How are you, you tying put the, it? <laughs> oh, Lord, you didn't explain you that. Yes, I know. Thank you, Beth, for reminding me. I went a little oh, too like fast, guys. Tie? You're basically going to put it through the hole. I need it over here. Through the hole, bend it down, and twisty tie. This is where I think the this will be easier for the kids if you use if you use the pipe cleaners because the kids can do the twisting and stuff. Um, especially if they're not good with doing knots or tying their shoe or whatever. It's good, you know, for, um, it's good for motor their, skills. Yeah, fine motor skills, getting them to eye Ooh. hand eye coordination. Do I want another? Or do I want to do alternate? I'm just picking up some. I don't know what colors I'm grabbing. That's just now. There are traditional colors, but we're not doing traditional for the kids. We're just I'm gonna alternate doing it'll something. Because if I don't alternate, it'll look like it has legs. I want to get to the Krabby Tank ones. <laughs> I want to get this done. <laughs> so you do the Krabby Tank ones. And like I said, I don't have much craft mesh for the Krabby Tank ones, but... I, I might not be able to do that if you don't have much craft. The, the, the. I had a mini stroke. <laughs> that and I can't speak English half the time. You speak any Deutsch or do you speak any Lakota? Neither. Ah. 
I don't speak English very well either. <laughs> I have strokes all the time. Uh, it's a, it is. Well, it's not Mine's good, crooked. Not, <laughs> she said hers is crooked. Beth, show oh. them your finished project. I'm throwing my last one here. But don't I have to put a string on the top to hang it? Yes, you can. You can use, you can, well. What the? Oh, sorry, guys. I just had a blackbird knock on my window. Oh, I think it was a sparrow hawk. Excuse me just for a minute. I don't think that was a blackbird. Was it a sparrow? I think so. But he knocks and flew away. Oh. I'm telling you, my life events today are not, no. So, um, I don't mean to uh, change the subject here just for a split second, but basically in our Lakota heritage, if that happens during something that basically we're participating in making stuff, that happens it's the spirits basically knocking and saying hello so that's what we're taught you know the kids are taught when they're young to i thought i meant something else recognize and listen it could yeah it, okay. there's a lot of other meanings for it too but lakota it's a, basically they're saying hello or you're doing a good job he, or is, he you didn't a knock message. three times i think he knocked four times yeah that's all four directions north east west and south and that's your medicine wheel. Medicine, basically, northeast, west, and south. So, therefore, it there was no three, so, and it wasn't a blackbird, so that doesn't mean ba something bad. No. It, a sparrow hawk, and it mean, that means good, and that means a message is coming. Yeah, him was tiny. Him was, like, this big. So. We got this. Yeah, Mine's nice. prettier. <laughs> <laughs> Mine's purple. I made it my favorite color. Beth can. If, uh, Beth wants to keep going with this. I'm gonna set. Oh wait, mine. wait, wait! We got beads. I'm actually gonna set mine aside. Beth has the bead has beads here in front. Oh, I'm a black. So she's gonna place beads on it, and then she'll lift it up and show you. What I am going to do is set mine aside. How do you put beads on without it like the beads falling? The beads you can put on. Um. Just slide them on, and then when, when if you want to do fill the whole thing, you can fill the whole thing. You can space them apart and make a little knot, or you don't have to, you know, especially if you're using strings, space them apart, make a little knot. I have For the pipe cleaner, slide them on, and at the bottom of your pipe cleaner, you're going to bend it and twist a little bit so that your bead won't fall off if when you hang it up. I was getting there. I saw that uh, before you said it. Yeah, I know you did. I see this. Oh, what color should I put on my purple? Okay. Let me... I need color for my purple. Let me grab oh, our wait, dream I catcher that one. for the sample dream catcher for the hermit crab tank. Now, oh, that's so this funny. is so funny looking because it was just a quick thing last night. I'm not doing one of those. Uh, you've had two hit your... Oh, wow. We have anything else from Carol? I didn't see if we had anything. Uh, what about a cardinal hitting windows? We've had two hit hours. Cardinals stand for love, so uh -oh. you could be getting a message. <laughs> Are you, you two planning on getting married soon? <laughs> somebody has a crush on somebody. <laughs> two little lovebirds. Okay, they guys. grow up so fast. We. <laughs> I gotta concentrate, guys. <laughs> So, these are the Crab Tank Dream Catchers. Now, I'll try to get this thing off my off the computer again. Pass. Hit that, will ya? No. What I did was I took craft mesh and I cut a circle. Now, you can cut tree shapes. You can cut... You, you can do it anything you want to do for, like... Even Christmas coming up. If you want to make trees and do them tree tree dream catchers and stuff or you know, whatever one you want to do. Um I like Thanksgiving. I started like been... this. Now I did start a oh where is that? We should have done something for Halloween, because Halloween's my favorite holiday. I did start a sample and this here was just a cutting out cutting out. So I actually took I didn't have you know, we don't have too much craft mesh here to work with, so I actually took one of these nice waters. <laughs> I cut the hand off. And she stole from my house. Cut the hand off. Cut a circle. You will 
fold in half, cut another circle out so that you have it like this, your centerpiece. Now you could take the string and put it in, in and out through this for your crabs. You can do this also. Thank you, Beth. Oh, that's very pretty. I know. I'm awesome at crafting. For this, you, you put the same way we did with the paper plates. You're going to take and put your string in, your jute string for the crabs. Now, guys, you want to kind of keep your string a little closer together, or you can do as I did and leave that back on because it, I felt the crabs would be more safe if you left the back, left it whole, than doing it like this because you don't, when they're climbing all over, you don't want them to get stuck in this string, let alone get their claws stuck anywhere else. Now, you know what I think we should have had? Down glitter. Here, down here. Well, that's not for crabs, but that's for the. For my plates. dream catcher, I want glitter. Down here, you're going to just put your string on. And you can add feathers. You can add. Well, I have um, for you avid hunters out there. Sure, everyone knows how to clean antlers. I've seen. Some people have it, especially, you know, Mary Acres or everybody have antlers in their crab tank. We only have two viewers, Haley and uh, Carol. Oh, that's fine. You can tie on antlers. You can tie on twigs. You can tie, you can add, possibly even tie some of the moss on here so that they have an edible. Now, popcorn, You're of course, you're going to need to use a needle and put your popcorn on these strings. So that you have a full on basically an edible dream catcher that you can hang hang in the crab tank. If you're placing anything that's gonna go bad, I would take it down for, you know within a day, within a day or overnight, take it down then. If you're just gonna let it so that they can play with it and crab enjoy safe it, glitter would be awesome. <laughs> <laughs> that would be. If you're gonna just do it where they can enjoy it, I would just put, you know, whatever's crab safe off of Crab Street or yeah, Crab, crab Street, Street Journal. Journal. You know, there's just save files, of course. You can ask me or you can ask the group, especially. Learn how to speak English. I am rambling on, I think, of thinking of things and how to do it. So, basically, I just gave you a rundown of, on how to do these. Um, I wanted to take the time to show, but I guess it was just easier to do a rundown of how to do, do the crab tank ones. So, let's go into... Pilgrim hats. I don't want to make a pilgrim hat. I don't either, but it's for the kids, so you need to. Please. Pilgrim hat. Um, Beth can start on a regular paper pilgrim hat, which basically is just you take your... Uh, I don't know how to make one of those. Now get a piece of paper. I'm going to teach you. Okay, I want you, a black one. You want a black one. Okay, mm -hmm. so you're going to cut a hat shape out of that. How do I do that? Do I have to fold it a certain way? I've been to kindergarten... <laughs> I was just thinking oh, for, crap. because it was Thanksgiving. And Be I, nice to Christine. <laughs> She's my mom. It's okay. <laughs> I was thinking of something easy, trying to think of something easy for the crab tanks. And I don't know. Something the kids could actually just do and they didn't need too much help with. No, but seriously, do I need to fold this a certain way? No, you don't need to fold it. You just need to draw a hat shape and you're going to cut it out. <laughs> so. Draw your hat shape, and then you're going to show them what it looks like, and you're going to cut it out. I'm now, a stencil. I am going to actually, since she's working on that, and we're going to show you both, I'm going to work on these cute little pilgrim hats for the crab tanks. You see that three times fast. Pilgrim hats for the crab tank. Pilgrim hats for the Really? You, you're, you um <laughs> interrupted me. Could you please hand me that bag of craft mesh over there? Only because you said please. I'm very is, sarcastic too. It's this fun. is what I have left in craft mesh. So we don't have too many pieces, but I'm sure I can get enough out to make one more hat at least. My hat's got to be bigger. So Beth is going to work on the kids' pilgrim hat, and I'm going to work on the craft mesh hat. I need a straight edge. A straight edge? Straight edge. A ruler. You know what's more so, fun than crafting? Baking. Okay, guys. Again, basically all you're going to do with these is you can mark them if as long as you can get the marker or the marks off. Um, I would use 
and you know, or even um, something that something that can come off easy to wash off easy because you don't want the crabs getting after, after it. So if you want to draw a hat now, you can do it by eye, just by eye too. Um, that's basically how I do mine because I don't want to chant anything with my crabs. So and she so, she she can draw better than I can. I am basically just going to cut out a hat shape. We can, you know, you can like, like I said, you can decorate these with anything. You can fill them in with jute string or any other thing that's crab safe. You can put moss on them. You it's can... not centered. <laughs> Boo, Haley, I see you. Uh, who said cut out that hat? Let me see here. Let me go under. Oh, back up here. I gotta see. Use your comments. use your arrow. Well, I can't. There it is. Draw a hat and cut it out, Beth. <laughs> doing that. I'm doing. I'm doing that. Uh, so your little craft mesh hats are gonna be looking like this. And of course, that thing is in my way again, and I don't like it because it looks like it's covering me. Of course. As you Yeah, but they can't see that. They can't see it, but it annoys the heck out of me. I don't have a pee. Um, so, mine's not centered, so... Do it's okay if it's not... This up? No, you got to realize it's for kids. So, even if it's not centered, it does, it's fine. Oh. No. Guys, it'll your hat will look like this. Now. Yeah, but... Well, <laughs> I need to cut another piece of paper. You can cut another one. If you want to cut another one, there's also brown paper. Guys, no, if you I don't need a, have um, paper link, you can use for the for the kids hats that you can use cardboard. I just need um a, whatever a other material you might have you can use to make those little hats. If you do not have the craft mesh for the little hats or for the dream catchers, you can use a butter lid. <laughs> If you have any Tupperware lids laying around, grab that Tupperware lid and make your craft out of that. You, anything recyclable and reusable is best. You don't have to run to the store and buy all these crazy wacko things because prices are expensive now. So guys, I'm just cutting a strip out. I am going to grab two zip ties. We all know what the zip ties look like, but I will show you anyway. We're going to have two of these zip ties. Um, Beth, did you show them what you did? Did you glue it together? I did glue it together. Okay, so tell them how you did it. I cut out a hat. Hat shape and a band. And I cut a band out because I didn't have enough and it's not perfect, but... It won't fit my head, but it's little pilgrim hats. So, then you're gonna take your strip. You're gonna measure it up here, whatever way you know you can get it as close as you can get it, and you're gonna thread through your zip tie. And once you get your zip tie threaded through, you're gonna pull through the other side and zip it. Zip it Cut here. Let's see if I can get this to work right for me. These are kind of hard, so even if you uh, can't, if you can't, you work with your hands too great, and you need to use something. I would use her like a jewelry pliers or something to, to grasp and pull them through. As, yeah, zip ties are like zippers, and they drive me crazy sometimes, especially with as many as you need to use for the crafts. <laughs> But, gladly, the price on these didn't go too far high. I think Gunner has calmed down. I don't hear him anymore. Okay. Um, let me see here. Of course, guys. Um, I do not have, it, have one sitting here with me, which I should have grabbed one. I was not thinking. But, after you cut these ends off, of these zip ties. The best thing to do is cut them as close as you can get them to that edge, to that thing. But if you have 
a fingernail, fingernail file or something. File these edges because you don't want these edges to stretch your crabs or make them bleed, get hurt. So you got one and it'll look like this. You will bend it around and attach this side with the next zip tie. So once that's done, then you can decorate as pleats. So you can put string through it. You can use the zip ties or string to add more moss. And then that's crab safe string. That's not kid string. So remember to pick the right one. Um, Beth, what are you working on over there? A pilgrim hat. A pilgrim hat. Are you that upset about that pilgrim hat? Sure. Well, maybe you can, uh, if we get some time here, maybe you can show the kids the Indian hats that they used to make at school. You can do that, too. Indian hats? I've never made an Indian hat. You've also, never made the cut out the feathers and made the band and put it on your head? Nope. We were always forced to make pilgrim stuff. Okay. Well, we all need to do something, so anyway... Let's get this. I want. I'm anxious to make sure. You know, I wish I would have had stuff to actually make a bunch of the nicer ones of these and sit and work on them all day with you guys, because then they would have turned out a really, really good. Um, but just for simple little things for the kids, you know, something that they can do. And we got one viewer. Feel comfortable. We went down to one viewer. I wonder who our one viewer uh, One is. viewer must be Haley. Is it Haley or is it still you, Carol? Carol Jeez. ran away. Carol left me. <laughs> uh, Haley, she gets a little, a little frustrated when she's making things. That's all. She's not really mad about the hat. She just gets frustrated. I'm not frustrated. I'm coloring. Yeah, she's coloring. It's okay. Okay. That's where your crayons and markers come in, guys. You're going to put that little square on the front of your hat, you know, make it kind of look, stand out. Um, and this... It needs glitter. This is your pilgrim hat or crab tag. So, you actually, you put your zip ties and just zip tie that band on each side and bit, zip, it, zip it, tie it together. And then kids, you know, your parents can help you decorate it and you'll put a string up top here. So that you can hang it in the crab tank. Now you can use, I'm done. <laughs> you can use a suction cup maybe to hang these up. Or you can set them on something. <gasps> um, I would just prefer them hanging with a suction cup or something. So the crabs, you know, they're, of course they're going to dangle off of it. <laughs> but it'll still be a fun thing for them just for Thanksgiving. And you can oh, well you wouldn't want to drive and look at Facebook. No texting and driving, that's illegal. This that's is true. Bad. That's bad. That's very bad. Unless you're changing a song. That, that's okay. So, gang, that's basically our dream catchers, pilgrim hats for crab tanks and crabs. Um, we should have sat and done a full a full on dream catcher for the crabs, but with Gunner, you know, running around the way it was. So, but this is our little things now I promised to show you all how to make hair tie for the girls uh, and for the boys kids, just, kid, just kids hair ties now I have bone deer bone buttons oh, now so you can take a regular button and do the same thing but um, I have deer bone ones. So you're going to take... Beth, you want purple string, huh? Purple. Purple, purple string. is the best color in the world. We're going to do purple string. You're going to thread it through these holes. If I can get it threaded. Oh, you had colored pencils and I did not know that. I probably did see it. You're going to thread it through the, through the hole, and you're going to thread the other side through the other hole. So you're going to leave, you're going to basically leave. A needle would be better. 
yeah, a needle would be better. My eyesight's a little off here tonight. Your eyesight's always off. Um, basically, you're going to put it through one hole, one side, and then put it through the other side. Um, you're going to fold your string in half to do it that way. Oh, and make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel, please. We need more subscribers. No, well, the crazy crab kids, yes. Basically, yeah. we need more. We need, we need more subscribers there. We would love to see please. more. I said please. <laughs> Guys, so once you get these, you're going to leave this loop at the top. And you can make the loop short. But you're going to leave the loop. And you can actually stop that loop, but you don't want to stop it, basically. You want to leave it like that. You will put your buttons like that. Let this loop at top. So basically hang this from something that you might be having in front of you. And then you're going to start adding beads onto the string. So basically once that's, once the beads are added onto the string, then you can take hair. <laughs> Which is purple, Bethy's, by the way. Bethy's purple hair here. And uh, we're going to put that hair through that loop. And once it's through the loop, you just pull your button up to tighten, and it stays in your hair. So, basically, that's what it, that's what your hair ties would be. They would just, whatever you want to decorate them with. Is it out? And you can do it that way. That's how you make simple little hair ties for the boys and for the girls. And, guys, um, I think I'll see if I can't stand up here a little bit, show you a... Show you this if I can get here where you can see it. I'm wearing my crazy crowd um, kid yeah, shirt. Buffy's my crazy crowd kid tonight. So um can't get you a full look of the rest of it. I kind of like you know lift it up. It's got shells and stuff all over it. But this is just my traditional wear. Like I said, I have a, a wedding dress too. Um guys, I want to say thank you for hanging out with us tonight. And remember uh, these were just something for the kids to do for Thanksgiving and for the crabs to have for Thanksgiving. So hopefully you all can make one and maybe post some pictures that you've made it with your kids or at least let us know that you watch the videos. You know, I want you to all have a good night and thank you for being with me. And I will say good night to everyone. Have a good evening. Bye. Bye. Off air, right? No. Oh, I'm sorry. You goof. <laughs> he ruined it. Oh, thanks.